What the heck? Super nice. Oh, I like that. Shoot. Hey, in today's video, I'm going to be using one of the coolest photography gadgets I have ever seen, and that is this little guy. So this is a fork machine. Yes, you heard that right. This thing is gonna give us fork. Look how tiny it is. It is not even the size of my head. So this fork machine is by Ulanzi, and we're going to be using it during a portrait photo shoot, and we're gonna be using my car. Because the cool thing about using fork is when you spray it in a small place, like the inside of a car, the fork will stay where it is as long as you keep the windows closed of course and that is exactly what we're going to be doing today i have this sort of cinematic look and feel in mind backlighting the model adding the fog maybe a red light i know how i want it but now we still have to make it so i've got a model lined up a location sorted got my gear packed let's go so it comes in this cute little case and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the chamber, take the silicon lid off and then fill it up with glycerin. And the cool thing about glycerin is, is that it's not gonna create any dust. So I am pretty happy about that because my car is gonna stay clean. Then we're gonna screw the chamber onto the fog machine and attach the attachment. And I'm gonna be choosing for this one because it will give me this nice sort of spread out fog look. It's not gonna look like straight line fog. So it's gonna naturally spread itself throughout the car and then and it's also thanks to this little sponge that helps it spread it beautifully. This will be the game changer for our photos. And then my favorite part of this whole thing is the little remote controller. So when I have the fog light in the car and I'm photographing from here, then I can just use the remote controller and turn the fog machine on and we're good to go. And of course, we're gonna need a light source because we're gonna be shooting at nighttime. So I'm gonna be using the bicolor cop light from Ulanzi. And then by adding a diffuser on top, we're gonna create a nice diffused light. And then next up, this is a little bit dodgy, but we're gonna add cellophane on top of the diffuser. I can speak from experience, don't stick the cellophane straight onto the light because it's gonna melt, it's gonna burn. So I'm gonna stick it on top of the diffuser and that way it's not gonna melt. And then I'm gonna bring up the warmth of the light just to enhance that red light. I'm gonna be shooting with my Canon RC Six, and I'm gonna be using the 28 mil f1.4 from Sigma and I've actually never tried this lens so I'm very excited to use it I really want my shots to be very wide so this lens is perfect for it Next up, I'm gonna place the fog machine in the car. And then the cool thing about this remote as well is that I can change the speed of how fast the fog is coming out of the machine. Oh, what the heck? Shit. It works so well. Like we just left it on for only 50 seconds and this is literally what it created. If you stick along till the end of this video, I have a little giveaway. Says something to do with this one? Okay, let's continue. Let's test out how far away we can stand and if it's still working. So let's go. It's working. it's working! It's working! Look how far we're standing! Whoa! Look at that! Whoa. I'll add more fog. Oh, that's such a good trick, like sort of like zhooshing it up. Oh, I like that. Should we? 
head to the left a little bit. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. That's beautiful. Is it possible to look into the light? The light? Yeah, maybe that could be cool. Cool. And that is it. That's the end of the photo shoot. Honestly, this one is so handy to use and so simple to use as well. And I didn't have to worry about it overheating or anything because it has a little temperature controller in here. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I did not expect it to create that much fog. I thought, because it looks so small, it's gonna just be like a little amount but it was such a large amount of fog and i only left it on for 50 seconds and i just filled up the whole car and i feel like it's always so much fun to just try out something new and this little gadget was definitely an experience when it came down to the editing of these photos i kept it very simple just because the red was already like quite in your face but all of these photos are edited with my lightroom presets you can find them in the description and i've made an editing tutorial for every single preset just so you know how to use the preset and how you can use them to their maximum 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 to their maximum capability capacity capability 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 and now something i'm so excited for and so thankful for that i can give this away is three of these fog machines and the only thing you have to do is follow the youtube channel of ulanzi my youtube channel and leave in the comments down below on which sort of photo shoot you would use the fog machine and i will choose three winners so i'm very excited to see with what ideas you're going to come up with i'll be announcing the winner in one week at the end of my next youtube video so keep a lookout for that one and if you have any further questions about this photo shoot or maybe the fog machine just let me know and yeah that is it i really hope you enjoyed watching this video and i also hope to see you at my next one okay bye bye do it <laughs>